Libyan television has shown pictures it claims show the dead body of one of Colonel Gaddafi's sons killed by a NATO airstrike. The British and Italian embassies have been attacked in Tripoli by mobs angered by the alleged death. In return, Britain has expelled the Libyan ambassador to London. Targeting policy is in line with UN Resolution 1973. It's about preventing the loss of civilian life by hitting the Gaddafi war machine that is... And let's remember, you know, while okay. Gaddafi said All right. he wanted a ceasefire, he was mining the harbour in Misrata in order to blow up vessels that were bringing humanitarian aid in. to help the people that he is murdering and killing with his snipers, All right. All right. Uh, rockets okay. and artillery. Syrian security forces have intensified their crackdown in the southern city of Daraa. Residents say army tanks shelled part of the city, which has been under siege for nearly a week. More than 550 civilians have been killed since demonstrations began six weeks ago. The former boxer Sir Henry Cooper has died aged 76. Although he never won a world title belt, he captured the public's imagination when he knocked down a young Cassius Clay. The man, who later became Muhammad Ali, remarked that Cooper had hit him so hard his ancestors in Africa had felt it. Yemen's opposition is considering new ways to force President Saleh to stand down after he refused to sign a Gulf brokered deal for the transition of power. Thousands of protesters have been demonstrating for weeks, demanding his resignation. The agreement to end the crisis has now been postponed indefinitely. Sony has apologized for the security breach in which the personal data of 77 million PlayStation accounts was lost. Three executives bowed their heads while admitting that credit card details and email addresses had been compromised. The company has promised to beef up security measures and asked all users to change their passwords. David Cameron and Nick Clegg have insisted the coalition will survive despite the increasingly bitter row over voting reform. With just four days to go before a referendum on the alternative vote, Lib Dem Energy Secretary Chris Hewn called on the country to mobilise against the Tories.